check this out. This is from Political Polls on Twitter at PP or at P polling numbers, I should say. Rear real clear politics average top battleground states from the same time frame in 2016. Hillary Clinton was up by over Trump by almost five percentage points, four point six to be exact. Same exact time, August thirtieth this year, Biden up two point seven. I mean, again, you actually need to give people a reason to vote besides not just being Trump. That's basically what the Biden campaign is relying on this point he doesn't support anything that a vast majority of democratic voters support 80 90 percent the polls show democratic voters overwhelmingly support medicare for all biden could have this thing fucking cinched up like that like a drop of a hat boom he comes out says, yeah, actually, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm really stupid. I can't believe why I wouldn't support Medicare for All. It would save <clears throat> billions of dollars a year, tens of thousands of lives. We're in a pandemic. Makes sense from every perspective. I support Medicare for All. Joe Biden would have the, would have the presidency locked up, in my opinion, if he actually came out and was in support of some type of progressive policy proposal that... Again, a vast majority of voter support, including independents, for, for God's sakes. But again, it's there's a reason why they propped up Joe Biden over Bernie Sanders is because Joe Biden protects the status quo. He's in bed with the pharmaceutical companies, Wall Street, for-profit health insurance companies, etc. And this, this is what you get, a status quo candidate who offers nothing really in terms of policy except not being Trump and he is doing worse in these battleground states right now compared to Clinton at the same time and you know at one point Biden was a lot further ahead in these polls and it's really um, the, the race is it's it's going to be really close either way it's going to be close whether trump wins or biden wins and i think obviously you know both <laughs> spell horrible outcomes for the u.s trump four more years of trump four more years of his uh you know fascism sending his you know federal stormtroopers to terrorize you know, Black Lives Matter protesters, uh, you know, more more deporting people, more xenophobia, more anti-immigrant rhetoric, more deregulation, etc. But, I mean, let's be honest, there's not going to be any type of transformative change under a Biden-Harris administration. And what comes after his, his failings you know, their administration's failings would be far worse than Trump. So either way, it's a fucking, it's a shit sandwich, as Nina Turner uh, <laughs> pointed out. And it's either you're getting a big shit sandwich in Trump or you're getting, you know, a medium or smaller shit sandwich in Joe Biden, <laughs> which again, Biden-Harris would lead to an even more massive shit, shit sandwich because they're not going to address any of these systemic issues that led Trump to be able to get elected in the first place. So, I mean, it's, and again, it, it's, it's just so disgusting. We have two corporate parties in the United States, neither the Democrat or the Republican Party actually are for the working people of the U.S. They're bought and paid for by the, uh, you know, owner capitalist class, and they do their bidding and that goes for a Trump as well as a, you know, Biden administration. The Biden administration would just have, you know, you know, more polished facade on it. And Trump is just full, full mask off. So, <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's uh, very, very disheartening. And again, the, 
the Democrats, the Democratic establishment was more concerned with torpedo torpedoing Bernie Sanders' campaign than actually with defeating Donald Trump because, again, Bernie Sanders would absolutely be dominating right now because he actually has policies that make people want to get out and vote because he stands for policies that improve people's lives. Medicare for all, Green New Deal, tuition-free college, canceling student loan debt, etc. And Biden is the complete antithesis of that. And again, that is why they propped him up. So again, if Trump wins, it's completely, you know... <laughs> Biden's fault, the Democratic establishment's fault for not giving people a reason to vote. That is how politics works. Voter shaming is not an effective form of political outreach. You actually have to give people a reason to vote. There is a reason the biggest voting block in the U.S. is people who don't vote because they realize that either party does not have their best interests in mind. And so they just say, fuck it. None of them are actually speaking to me they're not addressing my needs and you can't you know consider all those people the big, biggest voting block in the u.s non-voters they're not all privileged elitist you know uh s s standing or sitting out on their you know moral high ground looking for some type of perfection they're just looking for somebody who is going to speak to them and offer them you know, policies that they support that will improve their lives. And, um, you know, Biden is obviously not doing that. And Trump just speaks to his, uh, you know, largely white, largely, uh, you know, racist, white supremacist uh, base. So, it, again, it's a huge shit sandwich and it, the race could go either way, which is, you know, just shows how horrible Biden is because Trump's failed horribly addressing the pandemic from a public health perspective as well as the economic perspective all of his other baggage the racism the xenophobia doing the bidding of wall street etc but again it just shows how shitty both <laughs> both candidates are share your thoughts in the comment sections down below peace much love